Hi, this is Dr. Linda Davis, and today I want to go over an Excel trick you can use. It's um, highlighting Excel list values when they change. If you have a heavy-duty list with lots of duplicates in it, and it may stretch on for hundreds, if not thousands of, of uh, rows, you may want to try this trick to highlight every time the entry changes. So this is my raw data pretty much right here just to give you an example piece like departments in the company and then let me show you the finished result and then I'll show you how to accomplish it. I'm going to go to the sheet I've just called finished and uh, this is what we have. Um, the first selections are all accountants that uh, is nothing new there but as soon as it changes to account executives then we can pick what highlighting color or format we want to choose to make that show up and catch our eye better. So then we have account executives again and then the next several items are all different so they all highlight. Um, when it stays the same it's not highlighted and so on and so forth all the way down. So every time it changes it highlights itself. So um, you can think of it as we want to highlight a cell when the value above that cell is different. So obviously there can be a formula for that. So let's show you how to do that. Let's go to my same data, just not highlighted. So let me go to the basic data sheet here I've got going on. And um, what I want to uh, first put in is I want to select the range I want it to look at. And this is the part that makes the difference because you may have the right formula, but if you don't have the right selection, it just won't work for you. Uh, in this particular case, I want to highlight A3 all the way down to um, A27, I think is my last one on here. So it's all about where you started at. So I'm not starting with the first one, I'm starting with the second one. And I want to put a new rule in. So to get rules going on for formatting, I'm going to go to the Home tab and I'm going to go over to the Styles ribbon and from the Styles ribbon I'm going to select Conditional Formatting and you can put the rules in here. So we want to establish a new rule. So we're going to select New Rule and you have choices obviously. The one we want to use today is use a formula to determine which cells to format. So it's a, we're going to use a very simple little formula to make this work for us. Now, format values where the, this formula is true is what you need to pay attention to. So we're going to put a little formula in there because that's what it's asking for. And the formula we're going to use is equal. And we're going to say um, A3. is not equal to A2. So when that, when that um, is, tr is true, that's when it's going to format it. So that's your, remember that's your what not equals looks like when you're working with Excel formulas. It's the uh, less than and the greater than symbol, one before the other one. So equals A3 is less than greater than A2 which is the equivalent of saying equals A3 is not equal to A2. Now one more thing you got to do here besides just the formula. You've got to tell it well when you find this condition to be true what kind of formatting do you want to see show up. So I'm going to click on the format options here. Um, typically it's easiest we think just to go to fill color and just pick a fill color like you know highlight it in yellow, highlight it in orange, whatever you want to do. Let me pick uh, orange today and um, we'll just say OK on that one and that just tells it every time it finds this statement to be true that it's going to highlight it in orange and then you just say OK and as you can see the result here every time it finds something different than what it found above it then it's going to highlight it all the way down so account executive is new it highlights the next new one is account manager and of course these next three are all different so they're going to all highlight and then down to the next one down to the next one down to the next one so obviously if you had a large roster of uh, people names I think it would help you if you were dealing with last names like Smith and Jones and uh, other very common uh, names and uh, it would help you know speed up the process of scanning down for things like that. All right, that should do it for today, but thank you for your time.